Crazy Wong coming back at you, and just going to do a quick little tour of the new Xbox Game Pass Alpha in the uh, game. Um, excuse me, the Xbox uh, Insider Hub. So here we are at my Insider Hub, and I've already done it, but just to show where you can find it, if you're in the Alpha Ring, you can go to the Insider Content section here, and it'll be not under Join, but under available the Xbox Game Pass Alpha Preview. Once you've installed it, it'll take you to your... it'll go into your uh, My Games and Apps under the Memberships here, which is uh, kind of a new screen, and you can see that I've got a membership to uh, the Alpha Preview, the games, uh, Xbox Live Gold, of course, and uh, my EA Access subscription. So when you go into the Alpha Preview, I had uh, downloaded and was messing around Banjo Kazooie as a test, but you get uh, a kind of a similar front page that you would see in the game store, and they've got the featured and then some categories and uh, games A to Z. So you can go to Show All. And these are the games that are available currently in the preview catalog. I imagine it's just um, kind of a smattering of of things that were easy for them to put in because they've been games with gold or or uh, already digitally offered or or whatever. But uh, yeah, it's got a you know, it's got a little a little variety. Yeah, a little bit here and there. I mean, View of Me is a great game, but uh, you know, uh, one thing I'm, I am seeing is some Xbox One games, which is exciting. Because that's something I'm not sure that the the PlayStation now does is the uh, PS4 games. So we got some uh, some some decent games in there. Sunset Overdrive, of course, is one of the gems of the whole generation, in my opinion. But then you know, basically, you know, it, it's qu of some questionable. Uh, they're all reading owned here, uh, but Comic Jumper I hadn't gotten, for example. Um, so I hadn't. Uh, when that hit BC, I didn't I didn't purchase that, so now it's there. And when you go into a game, I own the product because I have the subscription. I can play this game for now or buy it to own forever. If I go to buy a copy, there we go. So um, nice thing about that is I think, and I'm pretty sure. It's not confirmed, but that I've seen. Um, <clears throat> of course, I was working, but it's not concerned. Uh, anyway, I had to, ooh, English. Uh, what I think is that I know that the subscription 360 games won't play on backwards compatibility. They won't appear on your 360, but I believe if you purchase something from the uh, Games Pass, Game Pass, um, that becomes available on your 360 as well. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, that's uh, that's about how it goes. There's you know aside from actually launching a game, which is just like anything else that you've uh, you've seen if you if you play the Xbox, um, <clears throat> that is your, your Game Pass. I do like the new screen. I do like that it's you know separate from the installed games and ready to install. I'm pretty sure that things that are ready to install that are in that get pulled and moved down there. Or maybe not, because there's, there's Banjo-Kazooie, and I'm pretty sure that's in there. So maybe not, but I do like that it has its own place under the memberships. And uh, so far, you know, it's way too early to say anything about whether the $10 per month is worth it, just because it's really going to depend on how many games you've purchased or purchased in a year and what games come out for it. But I think it's a, a promising concept. I think it's a I think it's a win for Xbox. I think it's a, a, a pretty pretty interesting way of going about it because it it's it's downloading without streaming, so no streaming foibles. And it's also um, got the ability to purchase permanently so you know if something if you don't want something to rotate out, you can snag it. And so that's that's pretty cool. Anyway, thanks for checking it out. I just wanted to pop through and show this off real quick since I had a couple moments uh, before the missus gets home. And uh, I want to put this up for our subscribers to see. So be sure to like and subscribe. 
and uh, be sure to follow uh, tune in Sundays 9 p.m. for the uh, NLG podcast and uh, of course my new favorite section that's mine I'm kind of biased bias media look out uh, the retro recommendation that I like to do now anyway thanks a lot and uh, if you have this uh, dig in or comment let me know what you think about the new feature and uh, feel free to hit me up on Twitter as well